This week, we have arts and entertainment reporter Maureen Bates on set with us. Hi, Welcome. Julie. Hi. And you're going to bring us some hands-on historical crafting. That is correct. Take it away, Maureen. If you enjoy craftsmanship and fancy yourself a historian, then you must plan a trip to Plymouth Plantation's fully renovated craft center this spring. Last February, Plymouth Plantation broke ground on a $1.2 million renovation and expansion to the Living Histories Museum Craft Center. In September, they celebrated their grand opening as well as unveiled the Plymouth Bread Company. The expanded craft center now allows for better traffic control and expanded room for the artisans to work and interact with the guests. The facility has an outdoor pavilion that will house performances as well as demonstrations of the various crafts. To support the mission of the Living Histories Museum, all the crafts are recreated using 17th century techniques and the same materials used by the pilgrims and the Wampanoag people themselves. Crafts include hearthside cooking, bread making, coil pottery, woodworking, tool making, and much more. Though the plantation does not open fully until March 14th, there are still some great craft workshops available through the next couple of chilly months. For the rest of January, the workshops will include bread making, hearthside cooking, pie making, and a regular knitting club for those needling a little fun. <laughs> February will have a continuation of the knitting club and more advanced hearthside cooking. Also, in honor of Valentine's Day, you can stop by and learn a little history and make something special to take home for your sweetheart. The full list of times and events are on Plymouth Plantation's website. And be sure to mark your calendars for March 14th. Still intrigued by historical crafts? Plymouth Craft is a new organization committed to teaching and maintaining the tradition of handcraft and restoration. Have you ever carved a spoon or made salt pork? Plymouth Craft has brought together artists of all sorts of traditional trades. They offer workshops where one can learn these trades to carry on the tradition into future generations. The group is on its way to becoming a 501c3 nonprofit and carries a mission of providing historical preservation by using hands-on crafting. It's not just about making stuff. It's about the connection of human effort and fully creating something of use in your life. An observation made by one of the artists, we work more with our fingertips than with our hands these days. In spoon making, you are fully engaged using your whole hand and mind while carving something that our society is sorely lacking in our daily activities. If you are interested in trying out a tradition like spoon carving, blacksmithing, knitting, or splitting logs into boards, which I think I might try, you can find the full list of classes and workshops at PlymouthCraft.org. For the Crafty Historian, I'm Maureen Bates, and that is your Winter Arts and Entertainment Preview.